Kipper uh, Kelly, he's a board manager. TD Brendan Smith, Senator Jim Wilson, Joe O'Reilly, Senator Joe O'Reilly, Youth Reach staff, learners, and friends um, to the Youth Reach Centre. We're here today to unveil our project on poverty. Today is Monday, the 17th of October, which is World Day for Overcoming Extreme Poverty, which seems very apt for our unveiling today. I would just like to thank a couple of people for this creation. Firstly, our funders, uh, the Department of Social Protection, local artist Raymond Fitzsimons, yeah. project coordinator Natalie McCall, uh, Woodbrook tutor Ryan McIntyre, and all of our learners. supportive and uh, were great help in every aspect of this. Uh, and Natalie McCall, who, well, this is the second project she's had to <coughs> and work with the students. Uh, and I have to say, I get a, a lot out of it. They're a great bunch. Um, I'd like to thank as well Brian, who uh, was a great help with it, and also made the concrete plates. I just did the time, and he did a great job. Thanks, Brian. Uh, I'd like Joe Doherty and Mel. Uh, I did a lot of the work in Joe's workshop. I'd like to thank the, the, the learners here at the centre. Um, as I said, it's my second time working with them. Um, and I just think they're great. The, uh, the subject that we were working on was, was, you know, poverty, which is, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough subject. It's, uh, it's a tough one to discuss. It's a tough one to, you know, we don't, you know, as a society, we don't think about it all that much. But we spent an hour and a half on two occasions discussing it and went into it. And then and I, I couldn't believe the attention and the creativity in, in, uh, in, the, whole, in the, the whole process. And then uh, we decided then to, to all the work we, we had done uh, discussing it, we, did, we converted them into the pictures that you see on the obelisk itself. Each one represents another part of the story that we went through. And I think that, uh, I don't know, I think it sums up what we were able to get to. Uh, yeah, so I think that's basically it. I just want to say thanks very much to the guys. Uh, it's a pleasure working with them. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. I gather the microphone is not working, so that will greatly shorten my address and hopefully Councillor Kipper Kelly's address uh, by having to roar at you all. Um, thanks very much for inviting me uh, as Chairman of Cavanagh Monaghan to be, to be here and to witness uh, this fantastic creation, uh, the product of your work as young people under the guidance of Ray, under the guidance of Natalie under the guidance of Brian McIntyre. Um, and I suppose it's a very apt day uh, to unveil this monument, um, the UN Day for the Eradication of Poverty. And I suppose in the world at large, Ireland and the Western Hemisphere is a beacon in terms of its wealth and its abundance. Um, but we have many problems here at home in this country too, in terms of inequality and education and facilities like Youth Reach are an important, uh, an important initiative to combat uh, inequality in our society. So it's very appropriate that you should choose to mark this day uh, with this monument. I can feel rain, 
so that means my remarks are going to be considerably shorter. Uh, I want to thank uh, Senator Joe O'Reilly, Councillor Clifford Kelly, uh, Deputy Brendan Smith, Senator German Wilson, who is known to you here as well, and Tony Farley from the Voluntary Board of Management. Uh, they honour you by their presence here today and taking time out of the day. So that's it, end of speech with the rain coming. Thank you. I think that we could be doing more of this right across uh, our youth centres in Cavan and Monaghan. And uh, again, I want to say it's great to see our public representatives uh, here, uh, Senator John O'Reilly, Brendan Smith, Senator, Deputy Brendan Smith, Senator Blair Wilson, and uh, uh, the Chairman of Cavan Monaghan ETP, Sean McKeer, and of course Tony Farley, who has been very much involved in the youth reach centres over a, a number of years. So again, Sabrina, uh, can I congratulate you as the coordinator and all your staff and wish you well into the future because you're doing wonderful work here in this youth centre. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to uh, something like the subject of poverty. Uh, I alone can do it, but I cannot do it alone. And um, I really like that piece because while we feel sometimes that we're on the struggle by ourselves on our own, um, we never are. And really all we have to do is always just reach out and ask for that bit of help. And it's always there. And I think it's really important to know that. So I just want to say thank you very much to everybody for, for just being here and for being part of this project. And Sabrina and all staff, staff in this centre, are incredible. They work so well together and there's lovely camaraderie between us and I'm very proud to be part of it. So thanks so much. Uh, on behalf of all of us, I would like to say a very big thank you to Ray for helping us with this project. We are very happy with it. I hope you are as well. Aww, thank thank you. You. 